milking cows are fed. I just gotta mix a small batch for these young heifers. But we'll run some halogen first. Once we get some of that in, then we're gonna put this silage out of the cart in. We got this feed cart running in my last video. We hauled corn silage from our other farm. We'll run this into the conveyor then once we get the halogen. I got the cows fed. I'm gonna go ahead and hook the sprayer up to the 7220. Had it off the other day to do some seeding. So we're gonna be putting the second pass of nitrogen on our trade cow ground. And the first time through, we just sprayed it on with the normal nozzles like these. For the second pass of nitrogen, we have to use stream bars to put it on. It's these right here. They'll just drop a little stream of fertilizer down. It'll go down to the roots rather than spraying it on the leaves because you can burn the leaves once the plants start growing enough. So we have to put these on the sprayer, but first I'm gonna go pick up the UAN at the fertilizer store and then we'll come back. It's a few mile drive, not too bad. Big storage tanks just pumped in 560 gallons now I got to go up and weigh on the scale and they'll give me the bill for how much we got here's where I got to be a little careful with my long axles we got all the fertilizer we're gonna need now I'm gonna pull these booms out and we can switch those nozzles So I just realized we have a problem. My plan was to use our old stream bars on the new sprayer. I figured the connections were the same, but these, these fast uh, parts are a little different. I called a local store and they have the correct nozzles that we need for this today. I should have planned ahead a little bit. I could have gotten those the other day and had them ready to go today, but it's fine. So I went and picked up the nozzles we need. Just heading home now. These are triple nozzle bodies, so you can turn them. You can have three different types of nozzles on here and just turn them to the whichever one you want to use. And then in between, you can shut them off. So if you want to shut off every other row or something, you can do that too. So we ought to just leave these nozzles on and use them when we want to. I got the new nozzles put on, so I'm gonna fold it up. Just add a little bit of water to get us up to a full tank, and then we'll go spray. We should be able to do the whole 80 acres. Our water tank is right there, that black tank. I'm just gonna pump a couple hundred gallons in. With our old sprayer, we had trouble with breaking nozzles and the nozzle bodies sometimes when we hit the ground with the sprayer. Out on the ends, if you're not careful, if you hit a bump, you can hit the ground. The nice thing about this sprayer is the boom is actually protecting the nozzles. 
So if it hits the ground, it's not gonna actually hit these nozzles. They're a little bit above it. And then the sprayer has these rings on the boom as well, which hits the ground if you get it too low. It just helps protect it. I'm just gonna pump some water in. We got 80 acres to spray and we're gonna have 750 gallons in the sprayer. We'll spray a little under 10 gallons per acre. We've got the tank completely full. So these nozzles should work good. They just have holes in them that shoot little streams out rather than a mist like the normal spray nozzles. So I noticed in my videos in this tractor, the camera really picks up the plastic noise in the cab. It's really not that loud. I'm actually really happy with the cab noise in this tractor. It's Pretty good. Just got started going around the first field. I'll have to show you a close up of them stream nozzles, but they're just shooting little streams out the back. See how tall this triticale is getting. It's gonna be about a month till we harvest it, so not too long. It's a good foot tall now. But this second shot of fertilizer will really give it a boost. 30% UAN, which is nitrogen. It's the same type of fertilizer you can get from manure, which we have a lot of manure around here, but it's still worth putting this nitrogen on. We definitely see a noticeable increase in yield and it helps the feed value as well. I'm about half done. I'm stopping to grab some lunch. What I'm thinking I probably could have done was just get one for every other nozzle and then shut the opposite one off because they overlap so far. I didn't really think of that when I was buying them, but that probably would have worked just fine. We're gonna do this field, which is actually our biggest field right now. 16 and a half acres. Now I'm just gonna run some clean water through the booms, clean the pump out. That's the wash tank there. We have clean water in there. Just gotta open up a couple valves and we can run that some of that water through the booms. Just wanted to rinse those nozzles out a little bit since we're not gonna be using them for a while. Thanks for watching guys. Time for me to start mixing feed for the cows again for this afternoon, pretty soon. The grass is starting to grow. I'm looking forward to getting this beast out and trying it out. I did mow a tiny bit with it the other day just because I wanted to give it a try, but yeah, it'll be cool to make a video on that thing then. But yeah, all right, we'll see you guys later.